Hey, welcome back to Whiskey Outpost. As always, I'm Chris, and we are doing another New Year, New Pour. Pretty sure we're up to day 10 at this point. And we are continuing our tour through Europe as we try some different scotches, Irish whiskeys, and that sort of thing. Now, today's offering is going to be, let me show you, Battle Hill. This is a 12-year scotch whiskey. Uh, and it has a box that looks like this. So let me show you. Uh, it's kind of blurry. It's kind of blurry. Uh, but yeah, if you uh, get the chance to, the chance to take a look at it, uh, it has uh, Scotsmen armed with weapons, looking like they're about ready to go into battle, um, which is cool. And so, if you're wondering to yourself, is Chris one of those serious whiskey collectors? I can absolutely, absolutely tell you, I'm not. Because I basically bought this bottle because of that artwork. Yeah, not super proud of that, but what are you going to do? It's still cool. It's still called Battle Hill. And let's face it, I kind of like 12-year-old uh, scotches. Uh, this is a Speyside scotch. Uh, it says it right there. Uh, aged in oak casks. Uh, and it is... Say it's an 80, yeah, 52% uh, percent alcohol by volume, bringing it at 104 proof, uh, which is why I should never try to rely on my memory as to what the proof of something is, because clearly I would have got that wrong. It is a lighter scotch, a lot lighter than uh, really any of the bourbons that I've drank and some of our other European offerings. Uh, but that, uh, yeah, that shouldn't matter. I will say that usually uh, the point of New Year New Pours for me to drink things which are new to me, um, and that starts with you know figuring out the nose uh, and then the taste. I will say I, I definitely uh, I definitely got a, a little sniff of this as I was pouring it, but uh, you know let's still go in for the nose on this one. Mm. See that that smells like scotch should it's. It's got a little bit more of the, the peat smell that you would expect from a scotch, but that doesn't mean it's a peaty scotch. Um, yeah, it's just, it, you know, it's got barley. It's got spice. Yeah, it's just got everything that you you would expect from a scotch. It's a very pleasant odor, very grain forward. And, uh, it, you know, at 104 proof, it's got a little heat to it. Um, but that's not what first came to me on the nose. What first hit me was the grain. And then when I finally stuck my beak into the the glass, that's when I really, really started to get that, that proof smell. So, yeah, I mean, I think this is already starting off to be pretty fantastic. So let's go in for a taste. That is incredibly complex. Uh, you know, I still get the, the kind of barley taste that you expect from scotch. There's a little bit more peat, a little bit more of that smoke uh, at the front of my mouth. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know how smoked the, the whiskey is. I mean, it doesn't, you sometimes you get those scotches and it's just like mouth of uh, smoke flavor. That's not what I'm getting here, but I, I get a little, little taste of it. But I also get a lot of fruit. There's a sweetness in the back that I was not expecting. Yeah, it's it started off with berries. Now it's almost apples. Um, that's incredibly complex. Um, just it's really really good. Um, you know, and I I like scotch. Uh, I've never had this before. And like I said, I I bought it because it had a cool picture on the front. So, I mean, I wasn't going out trying to collect space eyes or anything like that. I was just looked neat. I wanted more scotch in my life. I bought the box uh, and, and here we go. And yeah, it is a fantastic, fantastic pour. Now, because there's a couple different ways to enjoy scotch. Um, one's neat. The other's on the rocks. I'm going to put this very large ice cube, which did in fact fit into the glass. That's cool. Uh, into, into the glass to see what does uh, a little bit of water and a little bit of temperature do to the overall drinking experience. Now we've done this for nine days previous. And I can tell you every time I've done this, 
what really comes out is usually the proof goes down because you know water is diluting it um, and sometimes that can bring forth flavor components and sometimes it can dilute the taste too um, i don't know if you can see but i started off with a very large ice cube i now have a slightly smaller ice cube because ice melts uh but i think uh the glass is now cold so i think we can go ahead and see uh, start our taste test yeah and unfortunately bringing in the the rocks um uh, bringing in the ice really does tamp down the nose a lot i start I, I stopped being able to identify individual parts of the odor, of the smell, of the nose. I shouldn't say odor. Odor is such a terrible word. Because it doesn't have a, an odor. It has an aroma. Um, but I stopped being able to lose individual parts of the nose. The sweetness really comes out, though. And there's literally, at this point, no hint of proof at all on, on the nose, which is... Not bad. I mean, I don't really like my nose to burn when I smell my scotch. Oh, and see, nothing, nothing bad at all happened with the when the rocks went into the went into the drink at all. I mean, this cold and a little diluted. Well, I guess I did lose a little bit of the fruit flavor when I did that, especially on the second taste. I mean, I still get barley. I still get the, the grains. I get some spice. There's less. There's less proof. There's less of what I thought was smoke. So I'm tasting a lot more of the grain in here. I don't hate it, but it definitely it definitely affected the flavor. Not in a bad way, but whereas with some of the other scotches I drink, um, especially ones that aren't quite aged this much. Uh, I don't think the rocks does bad things at all. Uh, here, I, I think I would definitely drink this neat, um, which I mean, is a good, good thing to learn. Um, so yeah, if, uh, if you've tried battle Hill, let me know. Uh, let me know if they've got other cool artwork. Um, you know, let me know how you feel about scotch in general. I mean, we started off with a pretty, pretty bourbon heavy slate of drinks and now we're, we're going around the world a little bit. We will get back to Berman. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, please go ahead and uh, leave a comment or like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification button, you know, do all that. Um, we've still got another like 20 days worth of new pours uh, before we get out of dry January uh, and into, uh, into February. So uh, let me know. We've got a lot of cool things coming and I will see you for, uh, our next pour tomorrow. Thank you so much.